Now let's cover one of our most popular topics and that is customizing forms. We're going to customize our invoice for Bellwether Garden Supply. Let's come here under Reports, Accounts Receivable. Scroll down to the Invoices folder and double click on it. That opens the folder. These are all the standard forms that come with your Peachtree software. So to begin customizing a form, you want to pick one that is most suitable for your business and then work from that standard form, customizing it. We're going to begin with the invoice plain form and we're going to customize this one. So click on it once to select it and then click on design. Here, the first thing we want to do is we have a, custom, a logo, custom logo, that we want to include on our invoices. We want to include this custom logo, so click here on Object. We want to create this from file because we already have our custom logo on our local machine. If you have a custom logo, such as on your business card or letterhead, you should also have a JPEG or bitmap image of that logo on your machine so that you can use that logo on various documents and here in Peachtree. If you don't have that logo in a media format, simply go down to your local office store such as Kinko's, ask them to scan that in and save it as a JPEG or bitmap image onto a diskette for you. They'll charge you about $10 to do that. Bring the diskette back and save that file on your machine. Then you can use that image on a variety of different documents. Here we're going to go find our image by browsing and we stored the image within our company working directory. Here it is. Select it and click OK and then click OK again. Here's the image that we want to include on our invoices. Let's drag it over here and it's a little bit too big so we're going to shrink it down a little bit like this. Now Let's preview it to see how it looks. That's just how we want it to look on our form. Let's work with some other fields. If we don't know what a field is, simply click on it and down here it'll say what that field is. We don't want duplicate invoice message to appear, so we're going to right click and select delete. Let's see what this field is. Drop ship message. If this is a drop shipment, Peachtree will place that message here for us. We want to leave that alone. Let's see what this one is. We can come here, right click, and come into properties. This is our company name and address. I think I want to change the font and size of this so it stands out a little bit more. So let's do that. Come here. Let's change it to 12 point bold. Click OK and OK here. Let's preview it again. We may need to move this picture over a little bit more. Click and hold down and drag it over. Let's look at that. That looks very good. Okay. Let's look at some fields down here. We have sales rep ID. Let's change this to sales rep name. This is more meaningful to our customers. So we'll come down here and we'll look for sales rep name. 
Let's come here to properties. This is a faster way. Here's sales rep name. Let's click OK. Next, we don't want the customer ID to appear on their invoice. So let's delete the title and let's delete the field. And let's go down here to the body of the invoice. Here's our quantity, item, the description, unit price, and extension. That all looks good. Come down to the bottom and here's our totals and a check number as well. Let's see what this long field is across the bottom. This is an interest warning message. So this will print a warning message if payment is late interest will be charged. That's fine. Let's leave this on the form. Now, let's preview the form. We have a sales rep name. We removed the customer ID. All looks great. Let's save this report. I'm going to put a one in front of it. One invoice. and click Save. Now we can close out of here. And let's close out and let's run an example invoice now. Let's come into Sales Invoicing and let's open an invoice that's already in the system. Let's slide this window over. Here's one that is unpaid. Click OK. And that'll open the invoice. Now let's preview it preview. We're going to use our one invoice and click OK. And that's how the invoice looks now. Excellent. This is just how we want it.